Yeah. All right, so you, just, you won the 100 mile singles for you, but when I last saw you, I just was running one bike. Flat tail. How, how long were you running for? Uh, sh five miles out, I got a flat. Slash, so slash the sidewall. Uh, the last technical downhill. So, um, I, I thought I had it in the bag, like easy, like time of my life riding and one little rock just inch inch gouge in the sidewall tire and put a tube in it my tube had a hole in it so I was like well you got one opportunity just go for it and you, you ran for five miles. I rode I rode on the rim but I was trying to what uh, get around these roots and not wreck the wheel completely but, uh, oh you wrecked your wheel no no I didn't want to hit these roots and wreck the wheel, so the big rooty shit I was like ah but you were so it seemed like you were pretty far off in the overall hundred mile what was the best position you were in before the incident there I got up into third at one point um, and then I was riding with fourth um, and then that happened and he kind of gone after that and he knew he had it so. All right, so how did the rest of the race go? How did your day go? Uh, I went out pretty hard. Um, you know, I got done with that first 30 miles of single track, and I was like, man, I don't know if I can do another 70 miles of this. Uh, but like every 100 mile race, I mean, you're going to have your highs and lows. And well, mile 50, I came back to life and uh, started picking up people. And, yeah, I, it's so the gravel stuff, I think. I was over geared for the single track. Um, gravel stuff is about perfect. What were you running for gear? 3619. Little. There's a lot of a lot of hike a bike in Glenmont. Uh, I knew I had a decent gap on Chase. I seen him at Mohaven. I had probably 20 minutes on him at that point. So. All right, so running gear, like, do you actually do you do stuff where you're running? Do you train the run? Do you do anything else where you're running? I don't. Running or you just do so actually, I bought a, I just bought single speed about two months ago. Um, I mean, that's, that's what I used to race. I forgot how fun it was. And I think this is a perfect course for a single speed. So, I mean, back in the day, Flug won it on a single speed overall. And it was kind of in the back of my mind, but I'm not Jerry Flug either. So. Yeah, this year you got time. Okay. Yeah, a so couple, couple years. Uh, 32. Okay, you got a lot of time. Couple years. <laughs> I think he won this at like 46. 40 something, yeah. Yeah, yep. 46. Yep. So, you got time to work it out. For sure. Do you, do you, do you like, when you're riding your gear bike, do you. I mean, you're like a big strong dude you push bigger gears i do okay I do, for sure. that's like and that's i mean that's why i riding single speed for so long and then getting back on that gear bike after five or six years of riding a single speed it's just that's why how i ride a gear bike now it's i'm always wearing my bottom cogs out and, yeah cool so, all right what's next for you where you have uh it's probably not a lot of bike racing for a while um back to canoe racing so um, yeah, this was kind of the last hurrah before getting back in the canoe. You feel like the canoe race with this is, is any of the fitness from that transfer the bike? Is bike transfer? Is it like general cardio? Bike, like what, like bike definitely transfers over to it. And I think the paddling with the, the single speeding, I mean, using your upper body, you know, reefing on the bars, I think that definitely helps. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, appreciate it.